Good morning. Good morning. I'm Steve Unisteri, and I'm running for state party chairman because I think America's in trouble and our freedom is at stake. And I think the greatest threat to our freedom can be summed up in one, one name, Barack Obama. I mean, already he has tried to control energy through cap and trade. We have a 1,200-page health care bill. If you don't think that's going to control every sector of health care, I'm going to sell you some land down in Florida. But it's more than about that, folks. What is really going on is we are in an ideological battle, and we need to recognize it. It's between the left, who believe that they know better for us than we do, that government is the answer, and they should control our lives from when we wake up to when we go to bed at night, and us, conservatives, that believe in freedom, individual liberty, and we don't believe that our freedom comes from government. We think our freedom comes from God because we have free will. And as a result, we believe we have a moral obligation to fight for freedom. And that that is what is at stake. Now, why does that impact the state chair's race? Because I think the single greatest thing that we can do to save our country is to get rid of that man in the White House. And before we do it, we need to take back the House and we need to take back the Senate. But to do that, to get rid of Barack Obama, we have to hold our ground here in Texas. Can you imagine losing, winning the White House if we lose Texas? We already know California is practically hopeless. New York we always lose. And Florida is kind of iffy. How can we win the White House if we lose Texas? So we need to be prepared. And to the bottom of my heart, I tell you that I love this country, I love my party, I've been a conservative fighting for 38 years since I was 14 years old. I'm running for a job that doesn't pay anything that I'm promising to do full time. You gotta say, I gotta be crazy, right? <laughs> or committed. But I, but I tell you with those concerns as my motivation, that our party is not ready. And I don't mean to be scaring you or to be negative. Actually, I am meaning to scare you a little bit. Because Barack Obama scares me. Not only for his policies, but for what I saw that they had in Iowa. I spent two months battling the Obama tsunami in Iowa. I've seen what a targeted state looks like when the Democrats come down. They have unions. They have young people. They have buses and buses of volunteers. And they go door to door and they turn out their vote. They had 150 paid workers in Iowa and hundreds of volunteers. They have spent a 7 to 8 to 1. All we had was Sarah Payne. She came down about four times to try to rally the troops, but it was like having a pop gun against a tank. And now they're targeting Texas. How many of y'all have heard of the Democratic Trust? It's an endowment. Rich trial lawyer left it a lot of money. They were bragging last week, $4 million they spent in Texas so far, because they said they can take Texas. Obama has more paid field staff in the state today than during the campaign. Did you know that? called Organizing for America. Democrats have 19 people on staff, we have five. They have 20 field offices, we have zero. You get the picture? Now, God bless Kathy Adams for being a conservative. I've been a conservative my whole life. But this is not about that. This is about something more important. It's about getting ready for a fight, because we need to fight. This is the story. This is the facts. Kathy Adams was appointed to the Audit Committee in 2008. She was on the officials committee for a year and a half. So she's trying to blame her predecessor for the problems. Well, that's like blaming herself. But the truth of the matter is that when she took over, there was about 550,000 in debt. You can go online at fecgov.org and look for yourself. We had about 236,000 uh, 286,000 more in bills then than we had in cash. But today, if you back out the convention money, we're in worse shape. We're in worse shape today. She let the debt explode to $755,000 on March 1st. Now, she, Tina resigned September 24th. You can't blame your predecessor for five months earlier. She's been chairman for seven months. Don't all of us say when Obama says it's all Bush's fault that it's about time that he takes responsibility? Well, the situation today is even worse. 
This year, two this time two years ago, we had five field offices already. We had 30 people in the field. We have zero field offices right now, zero in the field. Two years ago, we had seven hundred fifty-four thousand. Excuse me, about seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in the bank. We had three hundred fifty thousand in bills. We were positive over four hundred thousand. Today, we have two fifty in the bank, and we're negative. Now, what was the answer to that? On January eleventh, just two days after, excuse me, ten days after reporting six hundred twenty-four thousand in debt, our incumbent chairman raised the executive director pay from $92,000 to $150,000 plus $20,000 in bonuses. Did you hear me? $92,000 to a potential $107,000. That has got to change. So what am I planning to do about it? Well, I ran a business for 22 years. I met a payroll. I know how to do that. I know how to balance the budget. First thing we got to do is practice what we preach. I've also worked in over 50 campaigns, everything from state rep to president, everything from door knocker to sitting in presidential campaign strategy sessions. Go to the chairman's website, there's not a single leadership position listed for a campaign. And I have the party experience, being a precinct chair like you, a member of the SREC. I've been fighting since I was 14 years old. Go to my website, you'll see the letters, the articles over 38 years. And I'm going to be next door right after this meeting. If any of y'all have any questions, I'll speak at length at any of these. I'm not too long. But I want to leave you with one last thing. Whether Tom Meckler or Kathy Adams or myself or state chairman, one thing is clear. We have to come out of this convention united and determined to fight because our country is at stake and there's nothing more important. God bless you.